do the DJ mock draft presented by Pizza Hut. Enough of the first round, DJ. Show me day two, please. I I'm ready, CD. Well, let's go ahead and do it. You are the muse of mocking, so let's get right to it. The Tennessee Titans with their second pick of the draft. They're going to get TJ Clemmings, who at the beginning of the process we thought would be a first round pick. Offensive tackle out of Pitt. He's a plug and play right tackle, replaces Michael Orr. All right, we assume Jameis Winston went to Tampa with the first pick. Who do they who do they take for him? In the they have pick? got to get better along the offensive line. So they have a little mini run on offensive tackle. Cedric Obui, who would have been a first round pick, probably top 15 pick if he didn't get hurt at the end of the season, torn ACL, played on the right side, kicked over to the left side this year. Make a case he's the most athletic tackle in the entire draft. Did Leonard Williams go in the first round for you to Oakland? I did have him go into Oakland there okay, in the first so round. Who, who do they get to compliment him? Well, they just continue to build a dominant front, and they get Preston Smith, who is a big-time player out of Mississippi State, who's versatile, can play outside, can play inside. Same with Leonard Williams. Woo! Pairing those two guys with Khalil Mack, that front would be nasty. Yeah, it looks like the Oakland Raiders of old. It starts to get that way. Blake Bortles, young quarterback in Jacksonville. Does he get some help here? Yeah, look, they have all those young receivers last year with Blake Bortles. Now you get a running back. you got to remember Dave Caldwell spent all that time with the Indianapolis Colts and saw that offense grow up together. I think they're going to try and do the same thing here. They get a big time back in the second round. All right, the New York Jets at number with their second pick here. What do they do? They seem to like defense. Well, they like defense, but I'm going to say they're building a basketball team at wide receiver. You bring in Brandon Marshall. Now you get Doriel Green Beckham. You pair him up with Eric Decker. Those are three big targets for a quarterback that can be a little bit erratic. He's got a lot of room for air. Doyle Green Beckham, no doubt, ability-wise, should be a first-round pick. Slides to the second for some off-field issues. Okay, let's move it to our nation's capital. Oh, uh, they need to get better on the offensive line. That's why we have another offensive tackle going. Look, we have a lot of tackles going. Jake Fisher is the third one here in these first six picks of the second round. Well, he's awfully athletic. All right, Chicago. This might be one of the better value picks for me personally. I've got Eli Harold, who you don't hear a lot of buzz when you talk to people around the league, but I love him. I watched him back to back with Bud Dupree. I believe Bud Dupree is going to go in the top 10 to get Eli Harold, who I think is very comparable. I even like a little bit better than Bud Dupree here in the second round. Great pick for the Bears. Boy, Bud Dupree's had a pretty good rise in recent weeks, hasn't he? The New York Giants. Speaking of rises here, Mario Edwards Jr. from Florida State. This is somebody, the more you talk to people, that buzz is building. Didn't play all that well this year. The weight has been up and down. Well, you go back to last year and you watch him, what he did last year against Auburn, that's kind of opened some eyes. I think he could sneak in the top of the second round. And he wants to keep his weight down because he wants to play on the edge. I think that weight's going to go back up. Uh, make him a All three right. technique. All right. How about the St. Louis Rams? They built a heck of a defense. Are they going to keep complimenting offense? Well, we get a big receiver here, Jalen Strong, another one. Again, this shows you kind of how the depth of the draft from pick 15 to really pick 60. Not much difference between these players. Jalen Strong. Has that ability to go up and get the ball, high point the football, can help you down in the red zone, be a nice target there for Nick Foles, which is still tough for me to get used to. Nick Foles, quarterback of the St. Louis Rams. I think Falcons fans would be happy if they used every draft pick on defense. <laughs> yeah, let's get some more help here on the pass rush. Grady Jarrett, you can play him in a one technique, you can play him in a three technique on passing downs. Let him get up the field. One of the quicker interior defenders. I think they go edge rusher early in the first round. Second round, why not go back to the well, get a defensive player, Grady Jarrett. All right, I like what you're doing here. And, Andrew, this is why he is the magnificent muse of mocking, because he goes where few people want to go. He goes beyond the first round.